Today we will see how to create a new IOM that is adding new input output module in system view software for Yokogawa Centum VP. Here we will define the types and the locations of the input and output modules installed in a field control station. The types of IO modules used in an FCS will vary with the type of FCS and the type of IO bus. Before adding IO module, a node is required where the IO module will be installed. First of all, we will create a node for holding IO modules in FCS. For creating node, we will open system view software. Then we will go to the project, then go to FCS, then go to IOM, then right click on IOM, then click on create new, then click on node and a new FIO window will open. In the type, two selections are available. First is ESP node bus and second is ER bus node. For the node in which IO modules are inserted in the slots of field control unit will be defined as an ESP bus node and the node number will be 1. This node will be fixed and it cannot be redefined. When creating a ESP bus node extended from field control unit, the ESP bus coupler module that is EC401 must be available in the 7th or 8th slot of the field control unit. In this case, the 7th and 8th slots of the field control unit should not be defined for any other IO modules. If the 7th and 8th slots of field control unit are defined for other IO module while creating a ESP bus node, a warning dialog box will be displayed. When creating an ER bus node extended from an ESP bus node, the ER bus interface module that is EB401 must be available in the ESP bus node. When creating a new ER bus node while no ER bus interface module has been defined on the ESP bus node, a warning dialog box will be displayed. Node number. It is used to identify a node unit. For the FCS created by us, the node number can be entered between 1 and 4. Number 1 is reserved for the node that is holding the IO module inserted in the slots of field control unit. The node extended from this node can be numbered in between 4 and 2. Remote master specification. This section will be active if we use ER bus node type and the installation position is expressed in the following format that is n node n slash s eb401 where n stands for node number and s stand for slot number power supply unit when creating node number one which is field control unit node the selection of dual redundant supply and supply capacity cannot be selected as the power supply is already selected when the fcs type is selected when creating a node greater than 1, then we can select the dual redundant supply and supply capacity from 40 watt and 80 watt. If 40 watt power supply unit is used, the external power supply is required when the IO modules providing power to the field transmitters. In this case, check the checkbox that is 24 volt DC from external power unit. Use optical ESP bus. Optical ESP bus repeater between field control unit node and this node can be selected. This option will be available when selecting node greater than 1. Distance from FCU. The option will be available when yes is selected for use of optical ESP bus. The maximum distance need to be selected through combo box. The range is from 0 km to 50 km can be selected. Slave module. From the combo box ENT5X2 or SP401 can be selected. Component number. The component number is a FCS cabinet number. This number can be used to indicate the connecting source and destination of each cable when cables are wired in an FCS. We will write here FCS0101 in the component number. Node number. In the component section we can write any 24 
single byte characters to describe about the node. Then we will click OK to create a node. After creating node, we can now add IO modules to the node. To create an IO module, right click on node. Then select IOM from the menu. A create new IOM window will appear. Two tabs are available in this window. First is type and position tab and second is select detail tab. From category drop down menu, we will select the category of an IO module. Here we will select analog input type. Then from the type drop down menu, we will select the model of IO module which will be installed in node. Here we will select AA1411-S which is 16 channel current input model. From the installation position section, we will select the slot of the card in node. The slot number stored from the left mode side of the node. Duplicate next card. The two IO module installed next to each other can be configured as duo redundant if this option is checked. High speed read. If this box is checked, the CPU reads the data at high speed from the IO module. The IO module for communication with ER bus nodes, high speed read option is not available. IOM comment. In this box, we can write any comment related to an IO module. Then we will click on the set details tab. Detailed setting of each IOM can be set in this tab. Therefore, this tab will be different for each IO module. To use the default setting of this tab, click on default button. Then click on OK and a new IOM will be created in node 1 of FCS0101. Thanks for watching the whole video.